Hey, Gringo Nation is now coming to you from Portugal. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what we've been up to around here in Estoril Beach, and in the end, I'm gonna give you a tour of this apartment that I've been staying at. All right, let's do this. So I moved from Sao Paulo, Brazil to Portugal just a few days ago, and my friends were nice enough to put me up in this lovely apartment of theirs. Thanks so much, guys. They're a couple, and they've been living here in Portugal a few years now, and they also happen to be my childhood friends, so it's been really great spending time with them. I'll be here hanging out for about 17 days, and then I am moving up north to an Airbnb that I rented for the month of March. So I just want to tell you a bit about this area where their apartment is in. Estoril is a town about 25 kilometers away from Lisbon. You can get here by train in just about 35 minutes, and we are actually lucky enough to see the water here. There's a beautiful view of the sea that I'm going to show you in just a bit. And just down the road, about a 10 minute walk from here, there's a little beach called Azarujinha, and we went for a stroll there on Sunday, and despite the chilly weather that's been averaging between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius, it was quite the peaceful stroll. <coughs> so my friends have a car here, and on Saturday they took me for a drive so I could see the general area, and I really want to show you some footage that we made that day, so here it is. Our first stop was a place called Cape Hawka. It's located in a national park in Sintra, which is just about a half hour away from where we are staying here in Estoril. It's actually the westernmost point of the whole European continent, which is pretty cool already. But as you can see, it's also lined with these beautiful cliffs and fields. The views were pretty awesome. It's definitely worth a visit. And on our way back from Cape Hawka, we stopped at Ginshu Beach, which is located in the neighboring town of Cascais. The shoreline is 800 meters long, and the beach is a popular site for surfing, kite surfing, and windsurfing. Whatever kind of surfing you want to do, they have it. Um, cup surfing? Yeah, they have that too, actually. They have a nice little bar just on the beach where you can chill out and have some drinks while watching everyone else do exercise. Also, I have yet to enter the water here in Portugal. It's still a little too cold for me. So have any of you ever been to Portugal? If you have, please let me know your favorite spot in the comments because of course I would love to check it out. Okay, and I'm gonna really quickly update you on my travel plans just in case you might care. Although I have dual citizenship, I am Brazilian and American, I have entered Portugal on my Brazilian passport because the two countries have some agreements that I thought could help me out in the long run if I decided to stay here. So I have entered the country only on a tourist visa, which means I can only stay here three months legally, but I am trying to find a way that I can stay in Portugal full time. Because I'm employed teaching English online, I'm gonna try to find a way that I can get some sort of work visa but there's tons of other bureaucratic stuff that I have to figure out before that, and I honestly don't really have the patience for it. But worry not, because I'm gonna try and not bore you with those details in the three months that I'm here. I just wanna show you around Portugal. I am gonna try and sort that situation out so I can stay here full time, but honestly, if I get fed up, I am just gonna pack my things and go somewhere else. Just today, actually, I was looking at apartment prices in Georgia, the country, and apparently I can get a really nice apartment there for the price that just a private room is here. So of course that's pretty tempting. And on top of that, they gave a one year visa for Americans, which is much less than a hassle than it is here in Europe because you can only stay three months at a time. So stay tuned to see what happens with all that, I guess. Okay, camera is in hand and we are gonna begin, of course, with this lovely view of the Atlantic Ocean from Estoril in Portugal. So there you have it, not a bad sight to wake up to. And you have this lovely afternoon sun coming in, feeding the plants all their sunshine. And there is quite a nice pool down there that I plan on using as soon as summer starts rocking in. Here we have some wine. Each bottle averages to about two euros, so it's been quite hard not drinking every single day. Um, so yeah, we've got the couches, chairs, just right over here, another nice view. Down there is the town of Cascais, which I could easily walk to in about 45 minutes. Another very nice part of this region. This here would be my bed. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Luigi, for taking in this crazy gringo. And here is where I've been giving my morning and afternoon classes. 
about five classes a day, just enough to keep me on my feet. This is the dining area. We have the kitchen with all the basic stuff, microwave, mini fridge, stove, oven, you name it, we got it. And this here would be the master bedroom. I hope Dunny and Luigi don't mind me showing their mess, but they also have some nice views coming in through here. And that would be their room. Just down the hall, we have the bathroom here. Shower. Yeah! Washer. And here is the entrance. And I have most of my stuff in about three of these drawers that they were nice enough to share with me. So I am all settled in. So just one more view coming in here from the entrance to the living room. If you want to support me on this little journey of mine, please just subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my new travel videos. So now I'm going to go for a little stroll on the beach. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you next week with some more travel videos. Join the nation.